From time to time, I'm asked by people who feel like their life is on a dead end street. What do I need to do to move myself in the direction of the success that I want to accomplish? How do I get off this dead end street? Well, first of all, I want to share with you five mistakes that you need to avoid that will not put you on a dead end street. And if you are on a dead end street, I'm going to share with you the one thing you can do today that will take your life in a different direction. So the first one is for my religious audience. And I'm not knocking anybody who is spiritual. I consider myself to be a devout man of God. But this is common amongst religious people. They do this one thing that's a big mistake. They wait on divine intervention to push them. Okay, listen, direction is not a replacement for action. Even if you had all the details in the world, you pray and you ask God to give you wisdom, understanding it, ask him for all the steps you need to take to be successful. God is not going to do for you what you can do for yourself. So stop waiting for some divine message to push you and you get up and act. Number two, expecting your parents to work for you or bankroll your life. Now listen, obviously I'm biased. I came out of a single parent household. My father wasn't in my life. So I have this attitude that everything is on my shoulders. If it's to be, it's up to me type mentality. But I've also seen people who had two parents who were successful economically, educationally, they had everything that that child would need. However, the problem was they relied so much on their parents that one of the parents lived vicariously through their child and they hindered them from achieving the success that they would have realized if they didn't depend so much on their parents. You're with me today. And if this is you, I'm just trying to encourage you to like get out the nest and do your thing. All the struggles that you will go through, all the things in life that are hard and difficult will build the mental fortitude and the work ethic that you need in order to be successful. But if you keep leaning on mommy and daddy, you'll never get to where you want to be. Number three, this is a tough one for my career minded folks, depending on your employer to give you direction. Yeah, I get it. You're working at a great company. They're doing great things for you. They are compensating you commensurate with your experience. But if you depend on them to give you direction for your life, you're going to be disappointed because their goal is to leverage your expertise to achieve their business objectives, not fulfill your dream. <laughs> and I know people who found this out the hard way, 20, 30 years into their career, and they just weren't fulfilled. And they go to their employer hoping that their employer is going to give them some profound insight. And they're like, no, <laughs> this is the direction of the company. You have to figure it out yourself. <laughs> and I'm just telling you, don't make that mistake because they can replace you in a heartbeat if you're not achieving their objectives. And guess what? If you define your life based on your employer's objectives, if you are let go, or if the company goes in a direction that you don't like, you will find yourself devoid of purpose and meaning, and you don't want to do that. Number four, this is a tough one in today's world, and I know many of you can relate to this, comparing yourself to your friends on social media. Now listen to me for a second. You should never compare yourself to your friends because what makes them special is unique to them. What makes you valuable is your uniqueness. And so when you start comparing yourself to someone else because you like what they're doing, you like those things about them, and it's okay to admire people. I'm not, I'm not suggesting that you throw shade or hate on people. But the point that I'm trying to make here is that you will never ever reach your full potential as long as you measure your success based on someone else's success. Now let's be honest for a second. We know that a lot of stuff we see on social media is fake. 
And I know people out there like this. And I'm not hating on anybody. I'm not throwing shade. Trust me. I know a lot about a lot of people. And when you pull back the curtain, you find out that their marriage life, it sucks. Their family life, it sucks. They're not who they're stunting to be. They're flossing and they're, they're projecting themselves to be something that they're completely are not. That's why you got to be careful with that. You be you. There's the only one you. Everyone else is taken. Be yourself. Number five. I had to learn this the hard way when I was in the hood, okay? Waiting until you get enough money to act. Now, it, it, I get it. We need money to do things. But trust me, the reason you get money, now, now pay close attention to what I'm about to say. The reason you get money is because action creates value. And in exchange, you are compensated for the value you generate. Focus on creating value and people will compensate you. If you want more money, if you're working for someone, focus on creating more value. And I'm not talking about the quantity. I'm talking about the quality of the quantity. You're with me so far. But you don't need money to act. I mean, when I go back in the days when I was trying to get out of the hood and I had nothing, the first thing that I did was use my imagination. So what can I do? What can I do to, to affect change? And then when I started acting on that, the money came. Now, listen, I just shared with you the, the five mistakes that you need to avoid. And there are more. And if you want more, you can contact me after this video. Five mistakes that you need to avoid, okay? But the one thing you need to do for yourself that will really get you off of that dead end street is create a vision for yourself. The vision is your mental picture of your success because we all act out of our imagination based on the image that we have of ourselves. Whether we're conscious of it or not, we all are acting out of our imagination. I'm telling you every day. That's why it's really critical for you to create a vision for yourself. Now, before I get into that, I want to tell you that there are three types of people when it comes to this vision creation, right? The first person knows what to do and they execute. The second person knows what to do but they do not execute. The third person is clueless. They don't know what to do, so they get nothing in return. Now, the first two people, they have this one thing in common, and I just shared it with you. They have a vision for themselves. They have a vision for their life. And the person who doesn't do anything, for whatever reason, they just miss out. But the person who executes based on the vision, they created the life that they want to live. Now, when I say vision, I'm not talking about some daydream or some fairy tale that you know in your heart, you're not gonna put in the energy and effort to execute. I'm not talking about that, okay? I'm talking about the reality is, is that this is your life. And you're gonna put in the work, the energy, the economics, and you're gonna find people to help you to make it reality. And it may not happen exactly the way you captured it. I mean, write it out, sketch it out, do whatever you need to do. Collect pictures, photos of other successful people, create this image, put your name on it and say, this is what I want my life to be like. And that's your vision. And I want to tell you, when you create a mental image of what your success should be, your imagination will do everything in its power and use every fiber in your body to create that. And I'm a living witness of that. <laughs> Listen, those are the five mistakes you need to avoid to get off that dead end street. And the one thing you need to do to achieve the success that your life was meant to realize. I hope I share something with you to encourage you today. I'm Stephen Garner. Take your cues from me and live a great life. Next cue.